Hey, what's going on? Victor Adetibi here with Master Tech Training Academy. Back to talk to you guys about something that comes up a lot in my courses and really just from people in general who are looking to make a transition and start looking for jobs online. And that is how to navigate through LinkedIn. So in this video today, we're going to talk about uh, how to use your LinkedIn. We're going to focus primarily on searching for jobs and positions. Uh, we're going to focus on Scrum Master positions today. And we're also going to talk about setting up alerts. And so although we're talking about Scrum Master positions, this advice or this information can be applied to any type of career you're searching for on LinkedIn. One thing we got to remember is that these tools that we're using, this technology that we're using is extremely complicated and most people only use maybe 20% of what these software platforms can do. And so hopefully today you guys will get to unlock a little bit more information about setting up job alerts and searching for positions online, as well as how to set up those alerts so you get notified as soon as those positions come up. And even we'll touch a little bit on applying. So I'm going to go ahead and start sharing my screen now. You guys should be able to see on LinkedIn page. And I'd love for you guys to connect with me on LinkedIn. Um, let me see if I can find my actual address. All right. LinkedIn.com backslash in backslash Atatiba. You guys are more than welcome to add me as a connection on LinkedIn. And so here as you see my page, and maybe we'll just talk a little bit about um, about pages as well, right? So you want to make sure you've got a, a nice um, professional, quote unquote, profile picture, but also something that maybe shows a little bit about your personality. And so this is actually a photo from my wedding of me, and you can see my wife there. Um, I've been told that it's not the most professional, but I like the picture and I'm okay with it. So people have got to deal with it, right? You also have the opportunity to change this banner here, and maybe I'll show you guys a little bit about how to change some of this stuff. If you click on this edit button here, you can change your background photo. And so I currently live in Dallas, Texas, so I've got a photo of the Dallas skyline there. And if you want to edit your own photo, you click on your photo, you click edit, uh, so you can zoom in or zoom out. You can click add a photo, or you can add different borders or whatnot and this anyone here you can also choose who can actually see your profile photo and get access to you so some people only want their immediate connections or their network some people only want people who are actually members of linkedin so you got a, a linkedin profile to be able to see it but me i don't mind if my photo shows up in the public search whether you, or not you're on linkedin and so I've got my name here. Uh, probably wouldn't suggest for most people to do this, but um, it's kind of difficult for people who search for me to find me because I've got some non-traditional letters in my last name. I just did it because it looks cool, but um, it makes it a little bit difficult for people to search for me. Uh, I've also got some of my certifications back here as well. Um, I've seen a lot of people doing that. If you're comfortable with it, it's fine. If not, you can just have it as your first and last name. Um, below here, you can also add your, I guess, sometimes your current position or what positions you're actually looking for. Uh, so that's your headline and your position here that you can edit. Me personally, um, I've added my current position and I've added my headline, not necessarily as a scrum master only or an agile coach, but some of the other positions and titles or opportunities that I'm open for, right? Like a speaker or a panelist. You can also add some hashtags in here. Um, talks about Scrum as a coach, Scrum Master as a mindset. You've got your area, followers and connections. You can say whatever it is you're open to, open to work, open to connect. You can add an additional profile as well. Then of course, you've got your work experience here, your education section licenses and certifications and if you're someone who's looking for a scrum master position or any position i think it's imperative that you have this section updated because you want to make sure that recruiters and hiring managing hiring managers know exactly what you're certified in and what you're certified to do so that when they come look at you on linkedin your profile matches your resume or matches what you're telling them you can also add um, your skills here skills in different technologies or, or just things that people who you work with want to endorse you in. 
Uh, and then you can also give and receive recommendations. You can add your publications down here, different projects you worked on, and so on. And so that's kind of generally speaking what your profile looks like to hiring managers or people who are looking for you. And so you just want to make sure that there's congruence between your resume and your LinkedIn page. I see a lot of people who may update their resume, but not their LinkedIn or vice versa, update their LinkedIn and not their resume. And so if it doesn't jive, sometimes it can, cre it can create a little bit of doubt in the hiring manager or the recruiter's eyes. And so you just want them to align with one another. The next thing we'll discuss is actually searching for jobs. So I'm going to click here in the search bar and I'm going to type Scrum Master. And I'm going to give you guys a couple of tips, specifically when searching for Scrum Master roles. And so it breaks it down into jobs and people and then people who talk about hashtag Scrum Master, posts about Scrum Master, et cetera, et cetera. So I'm going to specifically focus on jobs. So I'm going to click see all job results in the United States. And Right off the bat, I can see that there are 109,000, almost 110,000 Scrum Master jobs in the United States currently hiring. I'm going to give you a quick hack. I've searched Scrum Master as two, two words. I'm going to delete the space and search it as one word, and this is going to bring up another 107,000 results. And this just lets me know that when some hiring managers or recruiters or staffers are posting these positions online, sometimes they use... Scrum Master is one word, sometimes they use it as two words. So you're going to want to make sure that you set up alerts and notifications for both of these. So between those two, that's about a little over 200,000 Scrum Master jobs available strictly in the United States. All right. So if you want, you can come in and filter it a little bit more. So you can set the date that it was posted. So you can say, Anytime you can say within the last week or within the last 24 hours. So let me go ahead and click on within the last week and it's going to filter it down to 48,000 results. Good, good. If you want to select it by experience level, um, you can click uh, entry, associate, and mid level. And so we're just going to do some general filters here. You can also filter by the company, and so all of the companies will pull up. And so if there's a specific company that you know you want to work at, you could set an alert for that specific company. Um, if I was going to select Wells Fargo, maybe Epic, we'll say U.S. Bank and Tesla, I can click Show 1K Results. And so now it's going to pull up 1,000 jobs available for these four companies within this experience level that was posted within the last week. And so even if I filter it down just to Tesla, it pulls up 446 positions. So I'm going to remove this posting because most people who are searching for a position don't, I don't want to say don't care, but aren't so much concerned about the company that they wind up at. They just want an opportunity to get with the company, get with the team, and uh, help the team deliver value. You can also select the job type. So you can say full-time, part-time, contract, temporary, volunteer, internship, or other. And this is a big one that a lot of people are interested in. You can select on-site, which means you're going to be required to be in the office working on location for five days a week. You can also select remote, which means that you're going to be working remotely from home or from, from a virtual office somewhere 100% as well. The third one is hybrid, and so hybrid means that they're going to be a mix of the previous two. That means you may come into the office for three days a week, you may be able to work remotely for two days, or vice versa, you may come into the office two days a week, and they'll allow you to work remotely for three days a week. So just depending on what you're looking for, what kind of fits your style, I know with a lot of the students that I've got right now, majority of the positions that it looks like they're getting offered are either hybrid or remote for some of them, and so we're just going to filter out the on-site positions. And again, you're going to set these filters and these parameters based on exactly what it is you're looking for. Everyone's situation is different. What everybody needs is different. And so you're going to set these filters based on what it is that you need. And so now this has filtered it down to a total of 16,996 results. Perfect, right? And so if you wanted to, you could go ahead and start applying now. And so what I'll do is 
I will apply or start the application process to a couple of them. So this is a position for an Agile coach, and you can see here it's based out of Chicago, hybrid, uh, posted two days ago. There are currently 30 applicants, so you can see how many people have applied for this position already. It pays between $70 to $80 an hour, just kind of depending on kind of what you negotiate and maybe your experience and certifications. This company looks like it's got between 1,000 and 5,000 employees, and these are the skill sets that this position is looking for. If you click on the job uh, or any of these details, it will take you in a bit deeper and show you a little bit more information. And so these are all of the skills that it says they are looking for. And if you wanted to, um, it looks like I've got this one skill because it says one of 10 skills matches my profile. So I've got this phrase or this term on my profile. If I wanted to, I could add some of these additional terms or skills to my profile to make me quote unquote more of a match, right? I'm not gonna do that now, but you're more than welcome to do that. I can either save this position after I've clicked on it, or if I see this button that says the LinkedIn logo with easy apply, I can easy apply for the position. So if I save it, that means I'm probably gonna come back to it later and apply. I wouldn't necessarily advise doing that unless you're coming back to apply within the same day, just because sometimes these postings get taken down once they get a bunch of responses. So if they get up to maybe 40 or 50 responses, they may disable the posting. So it may not be here when you get back. If we scroll down just a little bit lower, we can see who the hiring team is. So we can see that the recruiter is Grace. She's a third connection of mine. I can read a little bit about the job description itself. Um, I can set alerts for similar jobs here. Um, a employer has provided this pay range. Um, I can get my re re resume reviewed by uh, LinkedIn. And then I can also see, because I've got premium, I can see how other applicants compare to my application. So 30 total applicants, 18 applicants in the past day. Um, most applicants have these skills, six out of 10. Agile methodologies, which I won't even get into that phrase. Uh, Scrum, management, project management, leadership, Azure project management. 22% um, of the applicants have a master's degree um, of business administration, similar to me. 35% have a master's degree, 35% have a bachelor's, 8% have other degrees. This is the seniority level. This shows me where they're located in the United States. Um, see if Epic is hiring people like me. So it shows me total employees and, you know, how I kind of align with them. Then it'll show me this company's um, LinkedIn page and I can go look at pictures and see who works there and the type of culture that the company has. And then it'll show me similar jobs down below if I wanted to apply. And so if I were going to apply to this position, this one is easy apply. So this is going to be a bit easier than most. So I can click easy apply and it's going to pull up and populate all of the information from my profile. So it's got my phone number, my email address. I can click next and it's going to ask me which resume do I want to use. So I've got a few different resumes posted here, uh, 2020 resume, 2022, 2023. And the great thing about LinkedIn is that it remembers your resume or it stores in here. If you wanted to upload another one, you would hit upload resume. It would allow you to search from your computer to select the one. If you got a few different resumes that you choose from, you can select the one you want to apply to this position with and hit next. Let me go back real quick. If you're unsure about what version of your resume this is or what it says, you can hit this button and it will actually download it for you. So you can review your resume that you have uploaded there and see if you need to delete it or if this one is good and you can apply with that one. It's going to ask you sometimes some additional questions. Are you willing to take a drug test? Uh, click yes. Have you completed the following level of education? Uh, bachelor's degree. I'll select no. How many years of work experience do you have with Agile Coaching? I'll hit 10. Uh, how many years of work experience do you have with product management? How many years of work experience do you have with software development? So I'll just enter 10 across all of these. I'll hit review. It will show me my responses and my resume and my information. It's going to ask me, do I want to follow this page to stay up to date with them? A lot of people overlook this and now you guys are following a hundred or even a thousand pages. And I don't know about you, but I don't particularly like my timeline flooded with a bunch of other pages. So I'm going to uncheck that so I don't stay up to date with their page. And then you hit submit application. And with that, I have applied to this position with, uh, what is it? Easy apply. All positions are not easy apply positions though that are um, listed here. So let's see if I can go back to my search. And so I'll go back to the Scrum Master search 
and I'll find a position that is not an easy apply position. So I'll go back to see all job results. This one. So we see this one says apply and it's got an arrow out. So this arrow out means it's going to take me to this company's website. It's going to redirect me and I'm going to have to fill out the application manually on this company's website. Now, sometimes some websites are pretty good. Once you go to actually apply, um, this one's going to prompt me to create a profile. I'm not going to do that right now, but some applications, once you create a profile, some don't make you create a profile, but once you do, you can add your resume and it'll automatically populate the information from your resume into their system. Some of them, or, or parse your information. Um, a lot of them don't though, and so it can be kind of redundant entering that information in two times. And so I'm not gonna do that right now, but I think most of you guys have done that at some point before in your career. Let me see if there are any other ap application methods that you can use. So it doesn't look like there are. I think it's just the easy apply. And so even if you want, you can hit this easy apply filter button here and it will only pull up the positions that are easy apply. And so this is 21,000. Uh, I didn't add any of the other filters like the date posted or experience level. But with these, you can now go down this list and hit easy apply. And again, just enter in a little bit of information, select your resume. It's going to ask you these questions. Uh, I'm not going to enter them, but once you enter them, you won't have to go through that long process that most people hate of filling out that manual application uh, on a company's website. So if you want to use that filter, you're more than welcome to use that filter as well. Um, let me see. What other tips can I give you? A couple of other tips about Scrum Master positions. So Scrum Master is a hot buzzword right now, and we just searched two different ways for those Scrum Master positions. I'm going to give you guys a couple of other titles that Scrum Masters could potentially qualify for. So uh, one of those is going to be Agile Delivery. And you can do Agile Delivery or Agile Delivery Lead. And so I'm going to search. And so this pulls up, and I'm going to unselect Easy Apply. This pulls up over 17,000 jobs that have the, the word or the phrase Agile Delivery in them and so if i go and look at maybe one of these like this was it project manager slash scrum master they are looking for a scrum master or some sort of hybrid role that is a scrum master um, so this is seventeen thousand other positions that probably wouldn't have come up if you just search scrum master because the title is not scrum master Another one uh, you could type in is Agile Delivery Lead. And so this pulls up 14,000 results. Another one you could search for was Agile Project Manager. And this is going to pull up 299,000 results. So 300,000 plus one. So this is over half a million jobs that you would potentially qualify for as a Scrum Master that are currently listed on LinkedIn. This one says project manager, and if I go down to, sometimes when I go through some of these and look at the description or the requirements, it will say like CSM or PSM or SSM as the certification that they're looking for you to have. Or it'll say PMP or um, PMP or CSM, right? You could also just look for a project manager position. And although companies who are running traditional waterfalls, sometimes they're trying to transition over to uh, Agile. And so they will hire Scrum Masters to kind of help them move that um, way of working that they've been doing traditionally to a little bit more Agile way of working. So um, for project manager, it's 299,000 results. And so I would advise you guys to get on here Search for these positions. You guys can also see what they're paying. This one is between $100,000 and $175,000 a year, um, $130,000 to $150,000 a year, one hundred five dollars to $125K a year. So yes, absolutely, Scrum Master roles are still paying six figures, and there are still a lot of them out there for qualified candidates. And so to be qualified, you've got to have the proper training. You've got to have the proper experience. You've got to have um, the proper really mindset to go in and do what these companies need you to do. And so if you're looking for 
such training, certification, mentorship. We got a few different uh, ways that you can get in touch with us here at Mansa Tech so that um, we can get you started on this journey. Uh, first of all, if you're someone who doesn't know what Scrum is or is kind of unfamiliar with Scrum or the role of a Scrum Master at it, I'm going to invite you to go to our website, whatisscrum.com, whatisscrum.com. You can go there and get access to our free video teaching series. It's going to teach you what Scrum is and how to transition into a six-figure career or role in as little as 90 days as a Scrum Master. Um, if you're interested in our coaching and mentorship program, you can go to academy.mansatech.com to find out a little bit more about our fully immersive 90-day Scrum Master Coaching Program, where to date our students have received over $24 million in Scrum Master positions. Um, if you need to get certified, if you're looking for a safe certification, you guys can go to academy.safe, I'm sorry, you can go to safe.mansatech.com, safe.mansatech.com to find out when we're having our next safe certification class so that you can get your SSM or you can get your uh, POPM or you can get your uh, SA, Safe Agilist. These are different safe certifications that you can get. And if you are interested in following us on YouTube, you can go to scrumlife.com. Scrumlife.com, that will take you to our YouTube page where we post all kinds of content similar to this about transitioning into careers in technology, specifically into Scrum. And we've got a lot of different content there as well. And lastly, um, this is just launching today. Um, I am about to release uh, a new book um, that's going to help people choose between the big three Scrum certifications. That is your CSM, your PSM, and your SSM. If you're on the fence, if you're someone who's been considering making this transition but you don't know which certification to start with, go to yourscrumcert.com. That is yourscrumcert.com where you can pre-order a copy of our book. And um, that book is going to be released, uh, I believe it's June 1st. So go there, enter your information so that you can pre-order your copy. And we'd love to help get you started on this journey of Scrum. Once again, my name is Victor Adetiba with Mansa Tech Training Academy. Thank you guys for hanging out with us. You guys have a wonderful day. Peace.